It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another one. This is gonna be casting news for The Walking Dead. So we recently got an update on some casting for season 11 of The Walking Dead. A comic character named Stephanie has been cast for season 11. Now, for those of you that may not know who Stephanie is or may not remember, Stephanie's actually the girl that Eugene is communicating with on the radio. And she's the one that Eugene and crew will most likely meet in the season 10 finale, 1016, which is going to air at some point. Now, on a separate note, we do know that this Friday, July 24th, they have the San Diego Comic-Con panels, which is online. And during the San Diego Comic-Con Walking Dead panel, they're actually going to reveal when the season 10 finale is actually going to air. So that's super exciting. But there is a chance Stephanie is going to show up as early as the season 10 finale. Stephanie is actually one of the first characters from the Commonwealth. Commonwealth, for those of you that don't know, is part of the next big arc that we're getting into after the Whispers arc. And they are a community that's the biggest community that we've ever seen on the show and it was the biggest community that we saw in the comics now it does get a little weird in the tv universe because we have the crm the civic republic military which is the colony responsible for rick's disappearance and that group and that whole storyline didn't exist in the comics and the crm is definitely much much larger than commonwealth so in the tv universe the Commonwealth is not the biggest community we've seen, CRM is, but at the same time, they are the biggest that is part of the story. The CRM is part of the movies, not the TV show. But with all of that said, I'm going to go through an article here from Forbes to talk a little bit more about the casting and what it potentially means for the season 10 finale and season 11. So I'll leave a link to this Forbes article in the description below so you can go and check it out. But this comes from Paul Tassi from Forbes. The article reads, The Walking Dead officially casts its first Commonwealth character for season 11. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Stephanie's the very first Commonwealth character that we meet. But the other interesting part of it is that they're saying that it's cast for season 11. So there is a chance that we might not see Stephanie in the finale of season 10. She might show up at the very end, but she might not. The Walking Dead may be in full shutdown mode as the pandemic has shelved all three of its shows, The Walking Dead, Fear, and World Beyond, but they are still planning for the future. This show has now officially cast what should prove to be the very first character in the upcoming Commonwealth storyline, the one that ended the run of the Robert Kirkman comic series but will likely not end the show, which AMC wants to continue uneffectively forever. This role was kind of already cast before this, but not really. What does that mean? The Walking Dead has added She's Gotta Have It actress Margot Bingham, and I hope I didn't butcher that last name, but she was added to the cast in an unspecified role. So what does that mean? So the voice that we heard on the radio talking to Eugene was actually her voice. So she was cast in a way because her voice was on there, but she wasn't officially cast, but now she's officially cast. So I'm going to continue the article here, except we know exactly what that role is likely to be because Bingham has already been doing the voice for Stephanie, like I mentioned, the character on the radio that Eugene is going to meet along with Ezekiel, Yumiko, and Princess. We are going into mild spoiler territory here going forward, but Bingham will be the first member of the Commonwealth, a new group that is not a secret bunch of cannibals or anything, but rather a huge group that has established a full-on society. That's not an exaggeration, that's pretty accurate. Stephanie really is who she says she is and wants to act as a bridge between Eugene's group and theirs, though things get complicated as you might imagine. One thing I do want to add here, and this is not spoilers or anything, but it gets more than complicated. I'm not going to go into details though. For comic readers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this storyline is going to have to dramatically read just things from the comics, given that Rick, Carl, Michonne, and Dwight are all major players. I don't know what they mean by read just. This may be a typo, but 
Yeah, I think what they're saying here is they're going to have to dramatically or not necessarily dramatically, but they're going to have to remix things because like they mentioned, Rick, Carl, Michonne and Dwight are definitely major players in the storyline with the Commonwealth. So they're going to have to replace their roles in that story with other characters and all are now missing from The Walking Dead. And obviously we know that Dwight crossed over to Fear the Walking Dead, Carl died and Rick and Michonne just had an open-ended exit. At least as we can see her in other shows or on other red carpets, Bingham doesn't quite look like the comic book version of Stephanie, which is true. I'll actually bring up a photo of Stephanie from the comics and compare that to what Margot Bingham actually looks like just to show you that they do look a little different. Stephanie in the comics looks a bit more like a black version of Velma from Scooby-Doo between her haircut, glasses and sweaters. And I think that's pretty accurate. I don't know if Bingham will alter her look to be more like the comics or if we might just see a less Velmish character in the end when she meets Eugene. The Walking Dead season 11 has not begun filming yet, still shut down due to the pandemic. All three series have been delayed, though we should be getting some news soon about when the season 10 finale will finally air, as that only needed to finish post-production work. And like I mentioned, that will be revealed this Friday, July 24th, during The Walking Dead's San Diego Comic-Con 2020 panel. At this rate, it seems likely that season 11 of The Walking Dead will not be seen until sometime in 2021, which I think is a fair assessment far removed from its usually October debut window. I am looking forward to seeing how the show handles the Commonwealth storyline under the direction of Angela Kang and with so many major cast members missing and to see what Bingham brings to the show. And she should be around for a while now. And that's pretty much everything that was in this article. Again, there is a chance that she's gonna make her debut as early as the season 10 finale, season 10 episode 16, but that may not happen. They may just have her introduced in the season 11 premiere. But she's definitely officially cast for season 11. What they might do in the finale though, they might have her show up, but it might be her silhouette. Because we don't know if she had time to film anything. Because the finale filmed a while back. And I don't know if at that point she was doing just the voice or filmed some stuff as well. But I think it's entirely possible that we will still hear a bit more from her. Like she'll come in through the radio and talk to Eugene. And there's a chance that we might just see a silhouette of her and they might replace her with someone else and not actually show the face. But with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and make sure to subscribe if you are not a subscriber so that you can join our community and also press the bell button to receive notifications about daily uploads. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.